The earth is going to be full of my knowledge. Don't worry about will I be known. Let's see how much of the earth is going to know me. The earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord Yahweh, as the water cover the sea. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 9. Yahweh, Ben Yahweh is here. The son of Yahweh is here. And he's calling for you. Come on and hear. Come on, Yahweh. 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 Come on to the temple. Come on to class. Come and learn. Come and hear. Come and see for yourself. Because the master oh, is the master come. is come on. Come on and go with me to my father's house, to my father's house. Come on, come on, I'm inviting you. Come and go with me, come and go with me to my father's house. Welcome to International Headquarters for the Nation of Yahweh the nation of Israel, the tribe of Judah. Welcome, where we learn our true history, history of our ancient forefathers. Welcome to where you learn our true history, that all so-called black people who are suffering from an identity crisis of trying to decide who they are nationalistically. We're steady going through a metamorphosis of from colored people to Negro people to black people to Afro-American people. Now they're saying African-American. And not everybody is agreeing as usual. You can't get my people to agree on everything about anything. But nevertheless, it shows that my people in 1989 are struggling mentally. They're in search of just exactly who are we? Where do we come from? Who should we follow? It's a critical situation involved in America among our people, especially when you admit there are 50 million of us in this country who are undecided about our nationality. There's no need to ask what's wrong with us when you can see we don't know who we are. Anytime you have a people who have forgotten who they are, they call that in psychiatry and in psychology amnesia. And everyone knows that a man who is suffering from amnesia can't claim his inheritance consciously. He just can't. And people can tell him, well, you're the richest man on the planet. Your father owns oil wells and 20,000 acres of land, and it's yours. And the amnesia victim says, what? I don't know that man. Say, but your name is his. What's your name? He says, I don't know. And that's the condition of our people. 
in America. We, as a people, are still trying to find out our nationality. So I'm here to settle the issue that our nationality is Hebrew Israelite. That's who we are. We are the people of the Bible, more specifically the Old Testament Bible. We are the people of the Old Testament Bible. The names Elijah, which is really Eliah, names like Jeremiah, which is really Yermiyahu, names like Joshua, which really in Hebrew is Yahshua. These are your names. These names belong to you. And many of our people have Bible names without ever knowing how valuable that is. I mean, can you imagine a man saying his name is Elijah and then he has an Arab name to go behind it? And then he represents himself as being awake? I mean, you know he's split up. That's like a split personality. Which one are you? Are you an Arab or are you an Elijah? See, and, and Elijah is a Hebrew Israelite name. And uh, the Hebrews came down from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Hmm? Jacob had 12 sons, became the 12 tribes of Israel, all of whom were Hebrews. Now, the Arabs are kin to Abraham too. He's the direct father of all Arabs. But their mother's name is Hagar. And Hagar was not of the blessed seed that came down from Abraham. They were blessed, but they were not the blessed seed of the 12 tribes of Israel because the Arab's name won't be written in heaven. Where is that? I guess I should let the Bible say some of this, although I have a lot to teach tonight, but I always give up more than I intend to. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. I'm, I'm not speaking disparagingly about our brothers, the Arabs. Those are our brothers and cousins, whichever they choose to call us. I'm identifying our true kinship, that we are truly of the same father, but the lineage was different. And what's important is not so much to understand or be jealous of all the oil that the Arabs have. Notice one thing, though Abraham was the father of Ishmael and the father of Isaac, I mean the father of, yeah, Isaac, uh, yet the children of Isaac are not getting any royalty checks from the children of Ishmael. Isn't that interesting? The children of Ishmael living in the deserts with all the oil are not sharing it with the children of Isaac. Yet Ishmael and Isaac have the same father. Of course, I'm not jealous of the oil. I made it all. And I, I think they should enjoy all of it while it lasts. I think that's absolutely wonderful. But the point is, I'm telling you, you don't have to be jealous. See, you have another kind of blessing. And after coming through 434 years of slavery in America, you should want a different kind of blessing. Revelation 21, 12, read. And had a wall, great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. 
Okay, now if you don't know what this is, read verse 10. Verse 10, read. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from Yahweh. This is what I'm discussing. The subject is this holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from Yahweh. It belongs to somebody. And we just found that it also in verse 11 has the glory of Yahweh. It's not just some kind of city, but it's an unusual city. First, it's a holy city of peace. Jerusalem means city of peace. So a holy city of peace is going to descend. In order to descend, it means it's high up, beyond the reach of men. Beyond the reach of men. And it's going to come out of heaven, not from men. Now, I know the space shuttles are supposed to be going out, and of course, you know, I keep interfering with that. Yeah. <laughs> they're not able to, to prove that they're God, you know, so somebody's interfering with them going and coming out into my heavens. That's just a fact. And they don't want to take a chance on going from this planet Earth out to see what I've done out there. So they plan to send a little spy thing called a little spy camera. They call it a probe to take pictures of, what is that, Venus? They want to go down up under my clouds I got hidden. And they want to see things. Russia was sending some stuff up there. And so it all failed. Out, it went out there and just everything quit working. Never quit working before, but I'm not ready for them to see that right now. I may, nev I may never let them see it. That's the way it is. But in the meantime, there's something up there. Huh? that belongs to somebody other than this Russian and this American white man. That's the point. And they can't get to it. See, they want to go and see, but they don't want to stay. See, God can go and stay if he wants to. Go and come when he gets ready, no problem. But see. Whitey doesn't want to go get out there and get stuck. <laughs> he loves raising hell, so he, he, he wants to go out and then keep everything a secret from you, what he see. Huh? Yeah, they call it classified. I mean, hey, you didn't make it. How are you going to classify it? But he wants to come back and play God over you while he's out there trying to find out the secrets of Yahweh. In the meantime, there's something way out there that's belonging to Yahweh. That's what I see. And it's a great city. It, it's, it's, it's not like what you see. I mean, see, you used to Miami. <laughs> You probably don't call Miami great. In fact, you probably are scared to walk around in most of it. I'm the only one creating a truly safe environment where you can come and, and leave your door open and come back and everything is still in there. Glory. In the meantime, there's something greater than Miami, is my point. See, that's a great city that belongs to Yahweh that doesn't have any ghettos in it. You understand? I mean, there's no drugs in it. See, it can't be holy and then have unholiness in it. 
Yeah, you, you, you see, you have to understand what holy is. It's not just a, a great city with taller buildings, and better air conditioning. <laughs> See, Yahweh is greater than that. He, he has a holy Jerusalem. And it, it, it doesn't belong to Ishmael. You know, the Ishmaelites are the Arabs today. See, they got that thing. I'm, I'm letting them get all they can get from selling oil. Now, if they don't save any money <laughs> from all this oil that they've been selling to white folks, well, hey, I could have told you from the beginning they were a wild ass of a man. <laughs> oh, 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 you think I'm being mean, I know, but I really quoted the book. Genesis 1612, I'm really not using language like you think. I'm, I'm really quoting the book, I really am. I never do say things that's not nice. Genesis 1612, read. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. He'll blow up ships and blow up planes. He'll shoot up cities, boy, like in Lebanon, I mean, hey. Kill, kill, yeah, hey, you know. You say something that I don't like, it's called go to war, boy. I'll shoot, I'll blow myself up just to get some of y'all. He liked that. 